Across Melbourne, Abdi describes his refugee experience. When the war um, started, um, I was playing a soccer. He was 13 when civil war broke out and a bomb changed the course of his life. The noise are getting bigger and closer. Sort of gunfire. Gunfire and, yeah, explo you know, everything. But I wasn't sure whether a house being hit or the next door. And people are screaming and the dust was everywhere. I couldn't see our house. But one of the scariest was not knowing where my mother and my mm. sister were. Mm -hmm. I thought they were dead. I mean, I went with uh, one of the neighbours. Yeah. So you had to leave without knowing yeah. whether your mum was yeah. okay? Yeah, because the adults were saying, they grab you, let's go. Abdi fled with nothing but the clothes on his back. He began a three-month trek to Kenya with a group of refugees. But they were hunted by death squads. The government militias, they caught us halfway, and we were 20 boys. They pick up the older boys, and they tied us up. The person who was shooting us was another younger person, maybe not older than 20. The teenage executioner sprayed the line of refugees with machine gun fire. Were you pretending that you were dead? Yeah, I was. So even I thought maybe some of the, you know, the blood, I thought it was mine. So like they give it. Yeah. yeah, so. It's bad memories. Bad memories. It was sad. But anyway, um, well, I never talked about details. More than 300 refugees had set out for Kenya. <laughs> Sorry. Only five survived. I went to Sudan and Sudan to Egypt. Abdi eventually made it to Germany. Then he boarded a plane to seek asylum in Australia. I came into the airport like a tourist and uh, planning to apply when I get in and find the legal aid. It was a passport in your name? No, it wasn't. It was a false passport? Yeah, it wasn't, well. Somebody else's. Was somebody else's. And all sorts of bloody people feel that, oh Christ, we, we must be more gentle and we must be more beautiful to the poor people of the world. Well, you know, that's a wonderful notion, but by geez, You'd want to make sure that you maintain the integrity of your borders. Uh, the immigration were very good, and, and they did the investigation. And, um, but you weren't prosecuted for travelling on a false passport? I thought I was a legitimate refugee. In a country of 10 million, almost 1 million have fled as refugees. Hello. But many can't escape.